But finding me proved no simple task, for having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too, for indeed I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. She could be in a different dimension by now, for real. You know, the fact that we Down hear Dandelion in the um, narrator like that, and his voice sounds completely different, right? It means that Dandelion's not gonna die, no matter what we do here. Pretty much. So, how do you go with this either? Before we go see Triss, we should be putting on our new doublet, trousers, and boots, right? It's the same Nilf Guardian set that we had previously. Campaigner's boots. No. Nilf Guardian boots and Nilf Guardian trousers. Uh, are weapons allowed? What about my gauntlets? <laughs> they look a little bit threatening, right? Maybe like that? Eh, yeah, okay. Is that good enough? Grant my play. Why is there something here? Oh, why? <laughs> why are these rusty swords not despawning? They're still here. Very strange. Triss, I think I'm ready for the ball. Has it always been crooked? Ah, of course not. They built it straight. Then two men moved in, wanted to break into Vivaldi's bank. Schemed out this notion they dig a tunnel from the cellar of the house straight to the vault. But they were sorry, miners. Didn't reinforce the tunnel. When that collapsed, the house went all crooked. Oh! Like this house right here? Slap a new rice takes your ability. Gonna be uh, watching when I grow up. How come I'm not <laughs> I keep following the the marker, but I'm not quite seeing Aren't we going back to that cellar place that we had previously? Right here? It's not on this floor. We've been here before. Why are we getting lost? It's right here. Oh, so there's a story behind why this place is tilted. Hello? Made yourself at home. Track mud in all over me floors. Maybe she'll finally move in with him. Hard time. Sorry, I'm sorry. Triss really should be answering the door and everything instead of me just barging in here. But you know, that's how it goes. Hello, Triss. Have you been getting ready? Wait, are you gonna get dressed up? I assume so, right? Oh. Oh! You already are. Oh my, certainly took my request to heart. Mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Wow, you look you look great too, Triss. You look stunning. And looking at myself with cloth but not much armor kind of makes me feel uneasy though. <laughs> Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters. Uh, he's easy prey, and that's exactly why we should help him. Triss looks really modern. If I just looked at her in isolation, I wouldn't even think twice about her being in the, the 21st century. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, damn, doublets chafing my armpits, and it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? <laughs> Does fancy clothing always have to be uncomfortable? You have the money, Geralt! Freaking get it tailored or something. Wolf, Harlequin, or Bird? Uh, well, the easy one would be Wolf, right? Yeah. Is that too obvious? But we're not actually trying to hide who we are, right? <laughs> Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. 
You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Uh, yeah, okay. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. Oh, we've never been inside the Vegelbutz's residence, right? Last time we rode by, but we didn't go in. Oh, well, everything will be a surprise then. Well? How could he? With that scrawny harlot! Oh, come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? No, oh, this place is full of high society people and their, their their superficial relationships. Don't do that again. Why are you sitting on the ground? Well, I read one look is all it takes to get scabs. Keep looking. Well, don't do that again. Everybody has masks. Oh, we got a nice fancy garden here too. It's not quite proper for us to be walking on the the grasses, right? Okay, you don't want to talk? Neither do you, apparently. Oh, greetings. Do we know each other? Past the barn on yonder fence, the crowing cockerel sits. I'll come to you, my darling lass, soon as I can piss. <laughs> Maybe this isn't high society after all. Go away. Food. Oh, you shouldn't have. Shouldn't Go have. Away. Fondue. What a monstrosity. How do you do? Good. I do good. Oh. The extra dry. Oh, yeah. We have to go back to the freaking inn so we can try to get the alcohol stuff for our crafting, right? Maybe we'll see some here. Exquisite honey. Triss, don't follow me around. Go, go look around by yourself for a little bit. Mm, I don't see anything that's for the alchemy, though. It was something... something cordial, right? Don't see any of that. Behave yourself. Do what you must, but behave. What kind of mask do you have? Again. A random blue man mask? Okay. Past the barn on yonder fence, the crowing cockerel sits. I'll come What's this person? My darling lass, huh. soon as I can piss. My mask looks... It looks like my medallion, pretty much. Hello, Vivian. No use pretending you don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common... Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one, older than the last, it seems, a decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? That's exactly it. <laughs> uh. Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian, hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive flora. What kind of a mask is that? What a jackass. It's so half-assed looking. Compared to our masks. Yeah, it's just a random purple shape. People are drunk already. I must steal a kiss, milady. You shall see. Just stand still and remove your mask. You're drunk, sir. I shall tell your wife. Do so, but first a kiss. Wow, what a sleaze ball. No wonder she's running around. Unhand me, sir. I could be your daughter. A role play. I relish the thought. She's still curtsying and stuff though. Oh my god. You just leave her alone, man. I must steal a kiss, milady. You shall see. Just stand still. To my and mind, they're getting mask. their just desserts. You're drunk, I've sir. never been fond of sorceresses. Do so, but first a kiss. You mean the whole thing with Radovid trying to arrest everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Triss is having some trouble following me. 
Where is Ingrid again? Look for the parrot mask. She's all the way here. Okay. Can we get in here? Can we get here? There's a house here. Uh, wouldn't quite be proper for us to. Poor girl. How humiliating. I have no idea what they were talking about. What's going on here? Oh! Triss, do you want to play hide and seek? Where the heck are we going? Well, this is a little bit yes, cheaty because. Yes. We'll soon return. No one's <laughs> even noticed we're gone. <laughs> I don't know if we want to see what's going on there. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> where'd you come from? Oh! Mahakaman trousers. Huh. I wonder if Triss would get upset if I switched back to my armor now. Oh, I can't take out my... I can't look at my inventory. Can I use spells? No. Huh. Well, what am I gonna do if I actually get attacked? That doesn't seem like it's a good thing. They can take away my swords, but they can't take away my signs, my parlor tricks. Yes, yes. We'll soon return. But no one's even noticed we- Oh! <laughs> Find your own damn spot! Ha <laughs> yeah. ha Why does it just say Nilf Guardian? It's not a rich town's woman, it's a, it's a Nilf Guardian. <laughs> okay. Well, there's not too much going on here. Oh, but we're leaving. Oh, we can't leave. <laughs> What's going on there? There's a row of people, but the people here don't have... Yes, yes. Okay, all right. We'll soon return. But no one's even noticed we're gone. See, those people <laughs> don't have any sort of circular thingies for the, um, the witcher sense, but there's five in a row over there. Somebody has a quest for us, it seems. Yeah? I won't tell her. All right. Then I'll tell you. What? Oh, I missed the gossip. The juicy gossip. Oh! More food? No? Oh, I can't loot any of it. You must be joking me. Hey, Do what you must. I'm a On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's balance from the city walls. Mark my words, I'll kick my, him out. Is he ever it's another night with that whore. How is his proper behavior Mark for rich people? Do they think my this is a public bathhouse? You and that sorceress of yours, Guinevere. Oof. You know, I feel like for the average person in the I'm Witcher the universe. Dragon. They don't know too much about Triss, right? Because uh, the only person that they really think about when they think of me is Yennefer. I wonder how Triss feels when she hears that. Beg your pardon? Huh. Because Yennefer and I have sort of been the established thing for such a long time. Okay, before we go there, I do want to go back here to check out... I think there was a little house that we didn't look at yet. Oh, look, we can see the, the lights in the distance. It's a little bit cloudy today, but not a bad night overall. Do you want to get slapped? What are you doing, lady? Uh. Okay. Do you want to get slapped? You're just squatting in here? It's the stables. But there's no horses. Are you actually playing hide and seek? Where did you come from? <laughs> ah, this is the... Um, yeah, I don't think the guests were meant to be here. It's the barn area. Okay, that's cool. And that's the tracks. Wow, it was so close by. Huh. Okay, well, I, I don't know what that... What the heck are you doing? <laughs> His bunnies all over the place. All right, somebody is looking for me over here. How could he? With that scrawny harlot. Intolerance and superstition <laughs> have always been a force, really. I'm a crack. 
Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle, well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Do I know who this is? A sorcerer, right? Judging by what they were saying. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. So the mask really doesn't hide anything then. She recognized him immediately. Hello. Ah. Oh. Let's look around. The bagel buds alone maintain a they certain standard society in regard to elegant perceptions. Regenerate. That is true. Indeed. Others Natural claim it's inappropriate. Mark and my words, I'll kick him out. Oh, get another things night that people poor. won't say to excuse their own stinginess. No, this is the actual higher society. Aristocrats. People outside might be rich, but they're kind of uncultured. Scarron Vagel but died young. Do you think the women, they... Oh, I can't be certain, but rumors abound. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black ones, economically. Oh, something about the women, the Vegelbud women? Oh, is this Gwen? Gregor, have you seen Durgoff just a moment ago? Oh, apologies, I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. Your mask looks awesome. Oh, I thought I recognized the back of your head. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia. So, oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is... A beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoff and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. Yeah, that's sort of the point of a masquerade party, right? Have fun without knowing who the other people are. You can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city walls. What are you guys doing? Be on your way. I've heard ballads about you. And that's... Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Okay. Let's do it. Does that mean that we should play it a little bit safe then? If he's gonna be reckless? Um, maybe we'll try Northern Realms today then, huh? Just to be on the safe side, because that's my safe deck, right? Nilf Guardian. Decoy, Impenetrable Fog, Commander's Horn, Gaunter Odim, Gaunter Odim. Get rid of one of them. Blue Stripes, Sigismund Dijkstra, Blue Stripes, Crinfred, Crinfred, Trebuchet. Uh, not the highest numbers, no heroes, but not a bad hand, I don't think. We got some effects here and there. Hmm. Impenetrable Fog, Ranged Combat. Don't think we'll be needing this one. Yeah, because we have Foltis here, right? With the clear weather. What's his ability? Kind of want to see it before I do the redraws, but okay. Vesemir. Hmm. Not quite the card I was looking for. Okay, we don't have any medics. Thank you! Oh, he's got multiple. Well, it's good that I took the lower number one. The higher number one is probably not as good. Look at three random cards from your opponent's deck. Opponent's hand. Did you look at it already? Yeah, I think so, because uh, the little icon is not colored. Alright, well... We can just play the spy game right in the beginning. Scorch! Estherat Tyson. Cynthia. 
Have some more, have some more. Uh, do I want to use Gontro Dim right away? Because this guy has muster. I don't really want to get another muster, right? We could try winning this one. Scorch. We don't have to be careful. Mm. He's gonna get the spy if someone tries scorching. Uh, okay, sure, why not? Maybe we'll accidentally win round one. Like this. And we also have the spy here. Letho of Gullet. Well, we baited him into using a hero. Not bad. Oh, that's great. Blue stripes and a dragon. Oh, now he's looking at my hand. All right. Um. Oh my god, wait. Hey, I can destroy both the spies in one swoop here with a dragon. Do we want to do that? We can't destroy Letho. Okay, well. I would like for them to be in my graveyard, but, you know, whatever. Oh! Okay. That probably actually wasn't a good move, because now... Now he's got more numbers than me. Hmm. Should I keep retaliating? I have 10 cards, he has 9. I bet he has medics though, so he might be able to get the spies back later on. Oh, that's a bit of um... Hmm, I will use this, uh, this trebuchet here, because it's the only siege card I have. Zeracanian Scorpion. More? Do I want to keep... Oh, I can Scorch. Alright. Mmm, now he's gonna bring back the spies, right? Which is okay from the perspective of me winning this round, because it increases my numbers. But he's gonna get more cards. So I think I'm just gonna... Um, I'm gonna call it quits here. Do you wanna try to beat me? Use more cards? Another hero. Hmm, okay. So he's beat me, and we have the same amount of cards. Actually seems like it's not looking too good for us, huh? We have to win this round. So let's go... Do, do I want to save blue stripes, or... Hmm. Because we have to win the next round too, not just this round. But, um... It's no use if we save our cards and never get to use them. So let's just use blue stripes. Oh, but we have to be careful about Scorch. Oh, are you serious? You're always making me waste my cards. Okay, six... Uh, should I just put down... I'll put down Vesemir then. Yeah? Okay. Got another catapult thing. But I lost a blue stripes. That would have been really good for me. But now we have two smaller combos. Maybe not the end of the world. We'll see. Nobody has used any weather effects so far. Impera Brigade. Catapult? I feel like I should put down the cards in a way that tries to avoid Scorch. Yeah, but Scorch right now is gonna hurt him too, so he's not gonna do it. So don't put down... Uh, I don't think it really matters, but... Maybe let's not put down two Crinfrids in a row. Alternate between Blue Stripes and the Crinfrids. If we still had Scorch, it would be pretty good now. But we don't. So that's a problem. We're just gonna have to see who has better numbers by the end here. Oh no. 40-40! I haven't used my commander's horn just yet. Oh my god! 60! Alright, well, I have a commander's horn. I should use it on Crinfred, right? What do you have? Oh! 
He doesn't want to use it. Probably Scorch then. Okay. Bit of a close one. So, one more round? When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomu Sealing. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomo has followed in his footsteps. Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Are you gonna say that for everybody? Wait, he lost his entire family estate in Gwent? Oh my god. Let's do it. I'm guessing we're not gonna come back here after the party, so we should do all the Gwent stuff now? Okay. Uh, let's continue on with this deck. It's the one I'm most comfortable with, after all. Scoia'tael. Ah, maybe they want me to beat one of each deck? Scorch, Gontro Dim. Trebuchet, Blue Stripes, Blue Stripes, Blue Stripes. Medic, Siege Tower, Catapult, Estorat Tyson. Kind of similar to what we had last time, but um, no Crinfrids. I can redraw one more. We don't have a Commander's Horn. Let's try redrawing the Siege Tower. I got Roach. Okay. If this guy has spies... Oh, but there's no spies in the Scoia'tael deck, right? Hmm. So I think the amount of cards we have this time is just gonna be this then. Because I don't have any spies, and he doesn't have any spies. Okay. In that case, he's got Commander's Horn here. Gone to Odim. Are you kidding me? At least we made him use it. It could be worse later on if he does it to my blue stripes instead. Yeah, I'll just I'll just think that way. Uh, fine. Random trebuchet. Six. For the Scoia'tael, it would be nice to have Biting Frost or something, but we don't have that here. Uh, If I put down the Catapult, I'm scared he's gonna have another Scorch. <laughs> hmm. Do I want to win this round? Hmm. I don't have Commander's Horn. Yeah, let's try winning this round because we can get one additional card for winning. Otherwise, we're just gonna be stuck with these cards here. If you want to make opportunities, you gotta win. Okay. Um, so I can put down the catapult now, because he's got a 10 here. I can also get rid of the 10 with Scorch. Oh, this is great. Perfect. Yeah? Goodbye. Dwarven Skirmisher? Six? Not a big problem. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, he's still narrowly beating me out. Mmm, don't want to use the medic on the Gondro Dim, right? <sighs> this round seems a little bit tough. Because we don't have that many cards. How much do I want to sacrifice here? I feel like we have to win, though. Let's take a chance and pass. Although I only have five cards left, it's the same for this guy. Right? So, hopefully he's gonna run out of cards too. And they usually like doing the thing in the second round, where they give up really easily. Ah, not this time. Let's go with Estorat Tyson. Oh. Interesting move. Now we're tied. What do you want me to do? I'll bring back... Yeah, I gotta use a medic here. And I'll bring back the catapult. Do you have any scorches? Kinda scared about that. Yeah, okay. I will pass as well. Give me one card. Ah! Okay. A spy might be a game changer here. But we'll see what they have first, because I don't want to give them a 5 either. Could be could be kind of dangerous. Do they have any scorches? That could also be dangerous. Uh we'll just have to see. 
Zero. A zero medic. Hmm. No, let's try using Stennis. Okay, Commander's Horn. Great. Perfect. We don't have to worry about Scorches right now, because they have a six here. But I did give them a five, and now they have Milva. I didn't put Milva in my deck. I got it just now, didn't I? Dang. Oh, I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, we're okay. Woo! This one was a little bit close too, though. Oh my gosh. So, one more round? When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zugelbone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Okay. How many rounds are here? Last Let's one? Let's do it. Three Gwent matches in a row. Okay. Can I take something out of here? Because things like... Vesemir. I'm sort of inclined to think maybe we don't really need that. I know we have Vesemir here. Yeah. Take him out, maybe? Just to make sure that we can draw the cards we want easier. In both rounds, we never saw Siri. Probably the Ballista Trebuchet. Oh, but we need to have enough um, unit cards, too. Dang. Okay, bring these guys back in. Milva's for Scoia'tael, right? So she's not here. Okay. Monster deck. Just like we said. Decoy, decoy, biting frost, commander's horn, blue stripes, blue stripes, blue stripes. Wow, we got blue stripes in all of our draws today. Siege tower, catapult, Siri. Mm. Do I need two decoys? Monster deck means you're not gonna have any spies, right? Which probably means I'm not gonna want to take any of your cards. But can I take back any of my own cards? Nothing really catching my eye here. Let's take one away. Biting Frost. This could be key here for monster decks. Gondro Dim. Great trade. Um, Siege Tower maybe? Crinfred. Alright. Frightener. What have I done? The mage cried out, frightened of his own creation. <laughs> so he named it the Frightener. Probably one of those mages doing some sort of unethical experiments on people. Arrakis! Yes! Fighting Frost is gonna be really key here. Monster deck is the one where a whole bunch of guys come out immediately, right? Uh, Let's... Let's keep using... No, you know what? Let's use a Biting Frost right now. Or... Hmm... No. Because I don't want to use Biting Frost right now because I want to potentially bait him into using more cards first. So, okay. Come on. Doubles the strength of all of your... Okay, interesting. But unfortunately for you... Yeah. See, that was good because we baited him into using the ability here. Oh my god, he's beating me, just based on the pure number of cards he has. Okay. Um... Catapult. Are we in it to win it? Yes, we are. You still want to keep trying? Oh my god! Are you for real? Are you for real? Seriously? Seriously? Okay, in that case, I'm gonna bring back the catapult and just call it a day. What are you gonna do? Pass? Oh, you do have a spy! But it's a hero, so I can't get it anyway. Hmm, that's a really, really good spy. What the heck? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Not looking very good for me, but holy god. 
This row here is insane. And that's with Biting Frost, too. Could you imagine without it? Ah, uh, okay. They've got one guy here. I've got Siri. And three blue stripes. <sighs> Not so sure about this one. Catapult? Now? Hmm. We need cards. We need cards. Period. Oh, you always do this! You always do this. Ah! What should I do? If I use Siri here, it's a bit of an overkill. If I use Blue Stripes, then I can't double up on it in the later rounds. Okay, if we have two Blue Stripes, that would be 4 plus 4 times 2, 16. If we had 3, it would be... 24? So one extra Blue Stripes card is gonna be an 8. I'm considering Commander's Horn here. 8. Okay, in that case, it's probably still better for us to use a Blue Stripes here instead of Siri, because Siri is so... her number is too high. Wait. I feel like my math is a little bit off here. Did I really consider Commander's Horn? Uh, well, whatever. What's done is done. Ah, that's right, we get a little bit for winning the round. Okay. Makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> crones. You don't have any more crones. They're all in the graveyard. Look at how thick the graveyard is. Oh my god. Commander's Horn. We have that too. Yeah. Ice Giant! Oh, I've never seen that. No? Fled one time in my life from the Ice Giant, and I'm not a bit ashamed. Is that how strong he is? Alright. Uh, they won't use Scorch right now. Can they use Scorch? Because they'll get the Crone. Oh, but now they can use Scorch. Shoot! Am I gonna be okay? Okay. Put down Siri. Yeah, earlier, I forgot that the Blue Stripes have their own Commander's Horn thing going on just by being next to each other. Mm, so that was probably a misplay. But it's not the end of the world. A good thing we waited before using Clear Weather, huh? Because otherwise, we wouldn't be able to clear both of them. What you got? Oh! Hmm, okay. Oh, bit of a close win again. Not really decisive victories. Ooh, time to invest Bravo. in rubies. The lovely lady clearly brings you luck, sir. Hold her, keep her, never let her go. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I got Dandelion from that. Cool. Bravo. The truth the is, we are already dependent on the black bar. Economically. Her, never let her go. Ah, That's it. We had three games of went here. Lady Vegglebutt is probably like, oh my god, what the heck? How come they're taking so long? Oh, what are you doing here? I know this might sound immodest, but our hunting hounds are simply the best. They do seem fierce. Yes, but they're superbly trained. Won't even whimper without my permission. Sit. Hey. Is that you? Geralt of Rivia? And Triss? I did not see you on the guest list. Baroness, we're here as friends of the family. As am I. Yet my name was there, at the very top of the list. Not at all surprising, my lady. These courtesies grow tiresome quickly. Why are you here? I think you should ask Lady Vagelbud. I shall. Believe you me. She's a high society person after all. Scratch. No one's doing anything. <laughs> Did they do tricks? Got a feeling we oh! wash your clothing for you there. Any more tricks? I've heard ballads about you. And that sorceress of yours, Guinevere. Piss off. Wow. I'm sick. Sick of it all. Oh. They're very well behaved. Huh. Are you throwing a dog show here, or like, what's happening? There's still blood on your swords! My swords aren't here! I didn't bring my swords. And then, a colossal boom! Oh! And? And? Nothing! 
I leapt out of the way in time, naturally, and it merely singed my eyebrows. Alchemy can be a dangerous sport. Oh my! One needs the agility and reflexes of a panther. Rawr. I love how it's like this one guy bullshitting in front of four women. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. Yet another night with that whore. Hmm. Oh. And then Is that the statue of Melita boom. lay. Oh! And, and There's only one face nothing. on it though. I left out of the way Behave yourself. Naturally. Do what you well, well. So many my festivities going on here. Whoa, there are some topless women here. Let's get out. Mark my word, I'll kick him out. Get another night with that whore. Well done, hmm. old chap. Can I take more food? Ooh. Holy Tome of the Eternal Fire. I don't think anyone will mind if I take all this, right? I highly recommend you visit. Silverton? There are baths in Silverton? I think we've been there before, haven't we? Oh, lovely, lovely. Hard finding work here, you know. Showed him off. With the eternal fire burning and all that. Right. No. Is there anybody over here? Did she just call me a lowly witcher behind my back? He's not been seen okay. in town in some time. Word is he's made some enemies. Oh, hey. A second chance. <laughs> Good one. Cemeteries are full of men who thought old Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. Geralt, damn it all. How do you recognize me? <laughs> the mask, dead giveaway. <laughs> Perfect, right? Could take it off and no one would know the difference. <laughs> hey, Reuven. Look at that. My favorite accomplice. What's this? Taking a day off from saving the world? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I have a sense you're in a hurry. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. My bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. Don't worry, I just like running into you all the time, not just at parties. Oh, this is so inappropriate. I'm taking all the food. Later, Geralt. Our mother says the girl has a singular sense of humor. If you ask me, she's batty. Simple as that. Oh, everyone's eating all the food anyway. I'm not the only one looking like a country bumpkin here. He's not been seen around town in some time. Word is he's made some enemies. Turned to Joel finally. Must have thought he'd get a second chance. <laughs> Why is your hair so grey, darling? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Dijkstra's henchmen. I wonder if there are more people here who we might recognize if we look more closely. Maybe not. Mark my words, I'm out. So we already saw where Lady Vegelbutt is. Just gonna um, have a look around the other places. Winds howling. No, this just goes back here. Ooh. Hmm, we can't go in, can wow. we? Okay. It's a big party here. Intolerance and superstition. It's an estate. Been a it's a real estate. Fool. See the one in the tight tunic? The one who arrived with the red-headed bitch. Excuse me? Well, well. You called Vagel Bud an old stick in the mud. But here she's hired a male stripper. But why did he come with a woman? Perhaps she hands him his props. The city walls. Itris, hand me my props. Look at Tris displaying her dominance here. Right, standing right at- Oh my god, here. right in front of that lady. <laughs> be worse. What a monstrosity. Oh, a right and randy dandy. The ladies find me handy. Your reputation precedes you, Geralt. You know how people here are really fancy and rich? Four. No one's Two singing Pam Param, Pam Pam Param. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. Okay. Lady Vegelbud?
Uh, excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. She kind of looks like Rosa or Atra. Her hair? Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight. But if you trust this man... Like no one else. Um, thank you, Triss. <laughs> Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the temple guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Hey, we saw a guy talking about alchemy to the women earlier. Was that Albert and I didn't realize? Hmm. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. <laughs> How about now? Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But... Please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. <laughs> Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Geralt is like that embarrassing friend who you don't want to bring to parties because they always say the wrong things. I think we might already know where he is, if he's that guy who was showing off his alchemy. Hmm, just want to review this really quickly though. Mmm, that's right, the whole issue about this thing is that the sun has been dabbling in alchemy, which means the witch hunters are onto him, and we gotta get him out of here so that he doesn't get burnt at the pyre. Okay. Uh, he's probably at the far end of the place, but we'll, we'll entertain those yellow circles. Do we gotta talk to people here, or...? Albert Vagelbud. Do I look like a pathetic buffoon and mummy's boy to you? Well... Oh, by the gods! <laughs> isn't that... isn't that Boris? Do you remember? The one who held his daughter's captive in his cell. He had eyes like that. Economically. I bid you a cool the next farewell. Burn, I wonder? Huh. Times of famine and war are now. necessary. They are how uh. society purges. Are there more here? Do that again. Out. Yet another night without No you. one's wearing a mask here. Oh, uh. Actually, I thought everybody had to wear a mask. Half these people aren't wearing anything. With the eternal fire burning and all that. The clearer Well done, old chap. I'm not On a clear day, you can see this no guy? banners from the I'm city walls. Late for so again. Yeah, actually, I don't even know how to look at those yellow circles properly, so let's just uh. go find him. We know, he's right here. And then, a colossal boom. Oh! And, and? Nothing. I leapt out of the way in time, naturally, and it merely singed my Mark eyebrows. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. out. Yes. Nice mask. <laughs> I'm talking to him, and he says rawr to the lady. <laughs> Albert Vagelbud. No. <laughs> 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 I 
I'm a black panther. <laughs> oh, my count. <laughs> Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Of course, we weren't going to say the, the real reason right in front of all those other people, right? Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Okay, sure. You wanna lead the way, or...? Hmm. Those ladies were so sad, we took Albert away. Um, we gotta get out here. There's so many people here. I'm starting to get some social anxiety. Oh. oh. Care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about? Yes. About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and... just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Oh my. <laughs> see, uh, I didn't really get to see what kind of type of guy he was. That was like 30 seconds of meeting him. You turn him down? Is that what you think? No. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You don't even have to care about them if you don't want to, do you? But she's doing all this for the mages. <laughs> they don't have anyone else. You're a charismatic leader. Simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of Course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, beag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming? Hmm. I don't know if I would call 
actress a leader. She's charismatic, but I don't think she would be... Maybe in 20 years' time, when she gets a little bit older and stuff. Because right now, she does give off a feeling of being um, a young girl. Coming? Hmm. I also wonder if the Triss from the books would ever wear what she's wearing right now, because that is definitely a plunging neckline, right? Doesn't she still have a lot of mental hang-ups about the whole... Yes, yes. <laughs> well, soon about the whole thing on Sodden Hill? Geralt, coming? Coming. Am I going the right way? This is so romantic. Oh, what the- No! <laughs> I've gone the wrong way. Was there another way to go, or...? Geralt, coming? <laughs> you were wrong about the statues. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Oh. I didn't pick. Miss Merigold, at last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. <laughs> I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. Good idea. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. I can't help but feel like we may have made a very important romance decision just now with a kiss. I didn't actually pick anything. I guess it defaulted to kiss for me? <laughs> Mentally, I'm still kind of at the Porcain no Las Dos phase Albert, right now. Why do you hide? Oh, they're looking for me. Will they recognize that it's not me though? I have completely different Albert, hair. You promised to show me your laboratory. I have a lot of thoughts on the whole romance thing and this entire thing, but Albert, um We'll talk about it later on. Hide? Albert! There you are, my love! Oh, here you are. <laughs> so, about this private showing. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagelbud. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards young count. Try anything. And you will get bruised. Hmm. <laughs> Doubt it. Too slow. Witch hunters. Oh, and they all have they have a they have the same mask. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Like a bird? We don't have any weapons, so this is gonna have to be a fist fight here. Snap your bones! And we gotta be a little bit careful because this is three on one and their hits hurt. They do hurt. It'll probably help if I focused on one guy at a time. Mm! Oh, this is not good. The corridors here are too narrow. Oh, but it might work to our advantage, huh? It's not really coming in here. Ow! Pound your kidneys to a pulp! Okay, maybe we'll lead him here. Mm. That's it! All together! We're not doing hot. Look at our health! You're fucking dead, prick. Ah, uh, I can get them both at once if I shoot. Okay, no more talking. <laughs> Come on! 
Hit him from the left! I should probably just counter this guy. He's the only guy left. But I'm scared I'll mess up my counters. This is not freaking... He's blocking the whole time. Too slow. Why are you so good at blocking? I think they want me to counter him. Oh. Yeah. Three guys who thought I was Albert, but I'm not. I can't eat bread. I can't get my health back. <laughs> Is that gonna be okay? Uh, am I going the right way here to get out of here? Nope. Here. Meet Triss and Albert in the stables. All the places that we were at previously... We naturally go through them in the quest, so I didn't really have to do that. Hey. The Vivian guy. Late for supper again! Hey, everybody! Just a panther passing by. Don't mind me. Hey. Oh, I've begun to worry. Everything's fine, though you should probably send someone to uh, clean up the garden before any guests wander in there. I'm to send servants to the garden? Yes. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. How did the witch hunters get into the party? Were they invited? Everything's set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Really? Can I have some? <laughs> the job's not even done yet. Albert's not even out of here. Okay. Hmm. We can't ask for the coin. <laughs> not that I was going to, but I wonder which one of these are better. Oh, the second one sounds like I'm asking for the coin. Excellent. So where are we gonna get away to? You? Nowhere. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? It was my fault, I know. The, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. And that's that. We don't get to see them off. And now, the money that Triss has been looking for the whole time, she has enough of it. So she's gonna leave Novigrad. Oh. Now or never. Meet Triss. What's this one about? Oh. Triss Marigold, with whom you, dear reader, are already well acquainted, decided to evacuate all mages still alive to a place far removed from the front lines, Kovir. This was no simple task, and so the sorceress asked the Witcher for help. Geralt agreed out of concern for the persecuted mage's fate, and Triss's fate most of all. Okay, well, I think it's gonna take a bit of time for Triss to get back to her place, right? So we can go drinking with Dandelion and Zoltan in the meantime. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we just gotta get out of the Vegel Buds now, huh? And head straight back to Novigrad? <laughs> My poor health. What's this now? Envoys, wine boys. Ah, okay. Alright. Yes. Let's get back to the Rosemary and Time. <laughs>